Revelation, chapter number 22, verse number 21. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. Where we have come to the conclusion of the book of Revelation. And the Apostle John in the book of Revelation with such a stylish and eloquent way. If we can come over and look in our treasury of scriptures so many other times the grace of God is how scriptures were ended. We can look even Romans to first chapter verse number seven to all that be in Rome beloved of God called to be saints grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ let's move on Romans the 16th chapter verse number 20 and the God of peace shall bruise Satan under your feet shortly. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Amen. Romans 16, 24. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. 2 Corinthians 13, chapter verse number 14. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Ghost be with you all. Amen. Ephesians 6 chapter verse number 23. Peace be to the brethren and love with faith from God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Ephesians 6 24. Grace be with all them that love our Lord Jesus Christ in sincerity. Amen. Second Thessalonians third chapter verse number 18. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. And we want to read one final scripture just in case someone think grace only started with the New Testament only. Let's go back. And let's start. When God commanded Moses, God told Moses and said, when Aaron and his sons, when the priests bless the people, this is how you are to bless them. The Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give you peace. You see, we could not exist without God's grace. God's grace is so amazing. What God has done for us, what Jesus has done for us, it's just totally beyond our comprehension. And what better way to end this book of books? What better way to end the New Testament? What better way to end the Holy Bible as a whole? With the grace of our Lord being with us. You see, if we have the grace of our Lord, we can face absolutely anything. We can stand anything. We can endure anything. With Jesus on our side, if we have Jesus, things will work out all right. We can make it. And that's what this book was saying. This book has some incredible challenges to it. The people of God will be challenged like never before in the history of humanity. Evil will rise to its apex. 
But the scriptures let us know where sin abound, grace does much more abound. The people of God will be strong and will do exploits. This book let us know clearly, no matter how bad it gets, God is not going to limp off the scene of humanity as he is a weak and helpless God. He's going to go off triumphantly. He's going to come back riding in a cloud. Executing judgment. Then coming back. Riding a white stallion. With heaven's armies behind him. Executing judgments. What a great, great, great story. I mean, this is the story of stories this is the summing up the wrap up the ending act to humanity as we know it because what's on the other side of his return is going to be vastly different this is a tremendous tremendous book of the bible and this book of revelation is most fittingly the book to wrap it all up. It pulls in so many other scriptures, so many other previous books Old Testament, New Testament, prophets, priests, kings. It pulled in everything and summed it up. God, in your name, we thank you for the great great victory God that you have in store for those that are faithful that those that keep the words of this book we thank you we thank you we thank you we give you all of the glory God we give you all of the praise in your wonderful son Yeshua's name thank God Amen.